A Providence school administrator resigns following an IT investigation into her bogus bachelor degree. NBC 10 learned that you can buy a degree online without taking any classes for a few hundred dollars. The IT team's Katie Davis is live in the newsroom now with the update. Some breaking news tonight, Katie. Well, Dean, I got this statement from the school district just a few minutes ago. It says Nancy Stevenson resigned earlier today and the district accepted her resignation. This comes after my exclusive investigation revealed her degree came from an online school that sells diplomas over the Internet. No questions asked. I bought a PhD from an online school called Ashley University over the phone in about 10 minutes for $648. Another local Ashley alum, Providence School District Administrator Nancy Stevenson. The I team learned Stevenson used a bachelor's degree from the unaccredited online school to get the $94,000 a year job in December. So far, only Superintendent Susan Lucy has answered questions about Stevenson's hiring when she sat down with the I team last week. If she made a serious lapse in judgment but continues in the job at, at her salary, isn't it in a way saying that cheating is okay? No, I don't think so at all. Um, if cheating was okay, we would not have put her on the immediate corrective action plan. But that logic isn't going over well with everyone, especially Providence teachers. Remember, Stevenson's job pays just under $100,000 a year, and the job posting said bachelor's degree mandatory. The top salary for a 20-year teacher with a legitimate Ph.D., about $73,000. And again, we learned just moments ago that Stevenson has now resigned. This statement also says the district will audit the credentials of all other non-certified, non-union employees. Basically, that means everyone other than teachers who works for the school district. Now that comes after the I-team filed a public records request this morning asking for the names of anyone inside the school district with degrees from those questionable schools. We'll continue to follow this story for you, of course, in the days to come. Live in the studio, Katie Davis, NBC 10 News.